What is up, everybody? Sysadmin Sean here with a super short notice video because of a post that just got dropped by Proxmox at what looks to be 510, so just a little bit less than an hour ago. They have released their first version of their ESXi migration tool, and we are patching right now to see if we can grab it real quick and give it a shot. Um, so we have to patch our hosts, and we'll get right back to it. I'm really excited to see this. There will be a link down below in the description that gives you all the information about the forum post as well as the instruction link to the new updated Migrate to Proxmox wiki page that includes this information. But we're going to go ahead and try it out live. Um, while that's going, we should probably get rid of this bad boy because we will be migrating him in. I'm pretty excited to give this a big test. Ironically, though, um, I'm actually going to probably destroy the Prox Proxmox cluster soon and stand up another product to kind of show off. Uh, I'm pretty excited to show off this other product because it allows for some kind of interesting things in the enterprise space that uh, some folks may overlook. But I do highly recommend it. Now it does say we are going to add our ESXi host as a storage import option. Uh, we'll enter the IP address of the host and we'll put in the info. Uh, we'll skip the certificate. Then we'll select the storage in the resource tree. We'll locate the VM. We'll click the import button under the advanced tab. Basic stuff. And we will see how it goes. And they do state that they support um, live import which means the VM is started during the import process is achieved by importing the hardest data required by running the guest operating system in an early stage and importing the remaining data asynchronously in the background. This option reduces downtime. Please note that the VM on the ESXi is still switched off, so there will be some downtime. Now, performance will get slightly reduced initially, obviously. Considerations for mass import. When importing multiple virtual machines, one might attempt to start as many imports in parallel as possible. However, while the Fuse file system that provides the interface between Proxmox VE and VMware ESXi can handle multiple imports, it is still recommended to serialize import tasks as much as possible. The two main limiting factors here are the connection limit of the ESXi API and the memory usage of the read ahead cache that is used to cope with the small read operations. So there we go. Let's hit a refresh on this. We'll say leave page. We're on 1.1.8 or 8.1.8, let's go to data center, let's go storage, let's go to add, and there it is, ESXi. So we are gonna add it. Uh, we're gonna call it tigerhost05, and I do believe it is 192.168.20.5. This is all basic, and we will skip the certificate. Oh, it's not on. All right, now our host is loaded. Let's hop back over. Do, 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 do. Storage, add, ESXi. Mm, 20.5. And there we go. We have that added as a storage device, which means we should be able to go over here. Yeah, look at this. And now here are our VMs. So this is the, the one that we copied before. Let's do an import on it. Sure, 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 sure. Let's go to advanced. We don't need to do a live import. Actually, we need to switch this to this. It would be nice if I could set that to the right tag. But it can't. That's okay. So this all seems fine. From default, what's our default choice here? Okay, cool, cool. And there's pretty much everything. Let's uh, let's see how she looks. Well, hang on now. Yeah. Okay. There it goes. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and fast forward through all this so you don't have to set through it, but uh, we will we will come back when it is completed its copy because this is not going to be fast. <laughs> Oh, 
Still are what's a viewer like a ton Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pain Okay, well that looks like it is completed, so let's take a look and, and see. And there it is. Now, if you remember from my previous Proxmox migration video, there were some certain things we had to do after the fact to make sure it would actually boot. Let's see what happens and see if we have to do that here. I'm kind of curious as exactly what this uh, this tool all does for us. Oh. It seems to be loading the hard disks. Oh, that's a real good sign. Now, I did want to point out some caveats here while we're booting up. vSAN is currently not supported, so if you're running your VMware in a hyper-converged cluster and you want to move it into a Proxmox hyper-converged cluster, you will have to use the previous uh, import method. But there we go. That was, uh, it wasn't the quickest thing in the world, but a lot of that is my network. But that was the easiest way to do it. I didn't have to learn anything in the command line. I didn't have to download any tools. I didn't have to, to work with VMware. I just mounted the ESXi host as a storage device, picked the VM I wanted, clicked import, and it went across. And as you can see, it booted up. It's right here. Now, there is some stuff that it doesn't let me do out of the box that I would have to do afterwards in relation to the networking uh, because we were able to set our bridge but not our VLAN tag, which we have here. Uh, I think we could change this if we were doing uh, proper software-defined networking. Uh, but honestly, that's probably like the least concerning thing of all this. That's really cool, and it's super simple. Uh, so give it a try out there, and I hope you enjoy this one, and we'll see you in the next one.